Hamilton and I'm going to show you how to set up the Wii drums in uh, Logic Pro using uh, two drum kits to, to actually create a full kit. So the first thing I'll do here is I'll kick off Logic Pro, uh, create a new file with the drum kit I like. I kind of like the, uh, the indie kit, so uh, we'll start it off with that. Now it's kind of notable the the Wii drums are only you know thirty dollars a piece. So uh, getting two sets together and creating an electronic drum set sounded like kind of a fun fun thing for me. So now that I've got that open, I'm going to kick off uh, Junction, which is uh, quite a handy uh, tool for uh, creating human interface device to MIDI mappings. So I'll create a new file here. Don't save the current. Uh, open the window. Now you'll see that we've got two Nintendo devices. Uh, sometimes they'll come up as different numbers, so you'll have to be careful about that. The order, the first, uh, the first drum is number three. This is something that took me a few minutes to figure out. And then number four. So we'll drag those over into the input sensors. Then number one, number two, and finally number five is the, uh, the foot switch. So we'll collapse down the first one. That's the lower kit, and the upper kit will be number two. Uh, so the uh, lower kit will be my snare, my toms. The upper kit will be my cymbals. And here you'll see I'm going to do um, number five twice, and that's because uh, there's really three things that a hi-hat does. And uh, we'll, we'll jump over to the variables so we can facilitate those three things. The first thing you want to do is create a variable to hold the state of the hi-hat. So here I'll call one hi-hat, and the initial value will be an open hat hit, which is uh, number 44. Then uh, I'll create a new variable for hi-hat open, which is also uh, a variable uh, or a value of 44. And finally, we'll create one called hi-hat closed. And that'll actually be a variable of 70. Now, you notice I, I said that uh, this, this, there's three things that happened, and I've only done really two here. We'll get to the third here in a few minutes. Um, next thing you want to do now that you have your variables is go over to your actions. Now, you notice these things are not mapped correctly so first thing we'll set up is our snare and uh, rename that to something useful and the snare value is actually uh, 38 so we'll go set that down at the bottom for the note event and that's that's the MIDI action that happens when you hit the snare drum so now we can test that uh, the next one is our high tom and that's going to be uh, number 48. Oops, I forgot to rename that. I'll do that real quick. And then we're on to our mid tom. And number 45. Now it took me a while to map these out, and I'm using a cheat sheet here so I can go a lot faster. Uh, it'll take you time to figure out what's right for each different ESX kit or, or Ultra Beat kit. And finally, our low tom is number 41. Move on, set our kick drum here uh, to number 35. Now we'll move up to the, the upper set, and this is my mostly my cymbals. So the first thing is uh, the hi-hat, and you'll notice we do something different here. Instead of setting an output number, we're actually going to set the, uh, the note value to a variable, and we're going to use the hi-hat variable that we created earlier. And that's what it sounds like uh, with an open hit. Next will be uh, the first of two crash symbols, 
Um, and for this value, I'm going to use number 49. And the next one, uh, I'll use number 55 for my larger crash. The last symbol I want to set up is a ride so I can get some more authentic sounding beats and I'm going to use number 59 this time. So finally to set up the hi-hat uh, we've got two inputs here and we'll set it up so it uses a switch. So on the behavior first we'll set up the off behavior which is the open hits on the hi-hat and instead of doing anything we're going to actually use assign a variable into another variable you can see there's a lot of ways to do this but this is the easiest so we're going to assign the hi-hat open into the hi-hat variable now whenever you hit hi-hat it's going to use the open value when this is off and we're also going to tell it not to generate any output now for the closed hi-hat hit it's a little bit different so the behavior once again will be uh, open or on this time so this is when you actually engage the hi-hat. We're going to assign a variable in the variable. Again, hi-hat closed to hi-hat. And now we're also going to set up uh, number 69 in the output here. So you get the, the closing sound as you hit the hi-hat closed. Now we uh, should be able to play some music. Don't forget to save your file, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. It uh, took me a couple hours to figure all this out, and hopefully I was able to uh, save you a little bit of time. Now, one trick that you might want to use is to map your uh, files to the various inputs because uh, these Wii drums don't have unique IDs. They can get mapped depending on what hub they're on.